When I introduced my take on the DIY guitar kit last year, one of the first questions I was asked was, are you going to make a bass kit? Yes, here it is, and it's awesome. <laughs> This is an abbreviated version of the almost two hour long tutorial that accompanies the kit. Check it out. two template boards that come with this. This one here is for laying out your neck pocket, your pickup, and locating your bridge. Notice the center line down it. And then this one here is for routing your cavities for your electronics. And this one here is for making your cavity cover. And then this is, of course, the most important part, the neck. I ended up having these made um, to my specifications at a factory overseas, and I'm super excited about them. They are exactly what I wanted. Uh, this is a 34 inch scale Fender style bass neck. It's like a Fender jazz bass style neck is what you would call it because it's a little bit skinnier here than a precision style bass, and I just kind of happen to like that a little bit. Um, so this is for a 34 inch scale bass. It's all maple, which is a sustainable wood, no matter where in the world it's come from. And um, the headstock is partially shaped out and drilled out for you. So this is ready to get finished and put on just as is. You may end up having to make some minor fret adjustments and we'll talk about that in the build and setup part of the video. But these necks are beautiful. I'm really impressed with the quality of them. Uh, and I will definitely be working with this factory again in the future. They did a great job. When you purchase the kit, you have some online access to an extended version of this video, as well as some downloads. And what I'm doing is since I have the guitar kits already out there, I'm just putting all of that information together on the same page. So if you buy a base kit, you have access to all the guitar kit download files and information and videos. And if you buy a guitar kit, you have access to all the base downloads. And so I'm gonna make the body that I designed. You don't have to use this, you could use your own body design, but you could use this and my templates as reference. The other thing you can do with this design is as a PDF, and if you do have a CNC, you can open this PDF up into your CNC and then continue to make it from there. But before I can do any of this, I have to get my body blank ready. If you don't know, I have a podcast called the Reclaimed Audio Podcast, and I host it with my two good friends, William Lutz and Phil Pinsky. We've been doing the show for about five years, and um, Phil lives in Canada, and Bill lives in California. And in California, the mighty redwood grows. I don't get to see that around here in Connecticut. So Bill had this table that he had made years ago out of this piece of live edge redwood that since he knew I was excited to try it, he sent to me. And I'm gonna make this bass guitar out of it. The problem with this block of wood is it is too big and too thick. Right now it is about two and three quarter inches thick. So I don't think I want to plane a whole inch away from this block, because if I were to cut it to size, I could do that. It seems like a waste of wood. So instead I'm gonna cut this up and then glue it back together and then I'll have some more wood for another project. Speaking of my podcast, the podcast is sponsored by Klingspore Woodworking Shop, and uh, they just sent me this blade, they sent all three of us on the podcast, this, this 50 tooth blade that's like a combo blade uh, to try out, which is what I'm going to use to cut this right now, and um, I've only cut a couple things with it so far, and it's it sounds amazing, and uh, we'll see what happens now when I cut through this big, thick, almost three inch piece of wood, which is like having the blade fully extended. <laughs> Well, that blade is great. Now what I would normally do is go over to my bandsaw where I have a pretty big resaw blade on and cut this through there. But I think what I'm gonna do instead is cut it right on the table saw. I can put one edge down and cut most of the way through this and flip it over and cut the other side.
So you see I can line the grain up again uh, so it almost looks like it never came apart. Pretty good. You can see the bearing in there. Now what we need to do is set that up so it rides along the template. Let the router spin down before I move it to the next hole. So satisfying, right? This is your template for when you're going to make your pick guard, right? Right. But it's also a headstock template. Let's take over there too. See the difference? For a reference later. Wasteful on my part, I feel bad about that. 
And there's a pick guard. I like it. I'll take a quick minute to talk about the guitar kits and some changes that are happening over there. Traditionally, I've had two styles of kits. I've had a single coil P90 kit, which used these custom P90s that my friend Rob at Gemini Pickups makes for me, and we were selling these pickups individually. And then there's also a humbucker kit that had a more traditional style humbucker, uh, regular size and shape, but you know, with the record top and all of that. Uh, what we decided to do was streamline and change the process a little bit. So now the new P90s have this sort of slick casing around them and look a little more finished with a new top and guess what the new humbuckers look exactly the same so we're using the same templates and holes and everything for the two different styles just so you know the bass pickups are identical in size as well they just have four poles instead of six uh, I'm super excited about this I like the look and I like the direction that the kits are going but, but there are still a few of the old style kits left over which are stocked with the old style pickups and so what I'm going to do is offer a 10% off sale on those right now if you type in the code I know Tim Sway at newperspectivemusic.com when you order one of those kits while supplies last you will get 10% off of those kits so it's 10% I know Tim Sway and I'm going to blow those out and then we're going to switch over to the new style, all of them, which um, I'm excited about. This might be a little low here in the middle, but where the neck arches up, I'm actually like probably a little too low, only about one thirty second. That's it. I designed this body for the kit, but I am going to add this body style to my lineup um, because I like it. And I also mentioned at the top that I got this piece of wood from my friend and podcast partner, William Lutz. And so since this is a new model that I haven't named yet, I think it's only fitting to name it after him. But don't tell him, it'll go to his head. I made a couple of them while I was at it. This one I made on the CNC. 
Both the guitar kits and the new bass kits are in stock at newperspectivesmusic.com. If you don't want the whole kit, there's also um, other ways to just access the content and the templates and whatnot. So check out all the options available on the site. Uh, I'm pretty stocked up, but supplies are limited, but I will be taking back orders if we sell out. So that is an option. I'll also be selling some pre-cut bodies so you could actually just buy the body and the kit and assemble and finish the whole thing like that. And um, these two completed bases will probably be for sale too, maybe, if I can let go of them. The full build video of this base is well over 90 minutes long and I really get into the nerdy details of each step of the process to help you answer the questions you may have before you even know you have them. Plus you'll also have access to the guitar build video which does a lot of the same basic steps and whatnot but I use a lot of different tools in some cases so there might be some different ways of looking at things that will also help answer some questions. And if you're not interested in all that, well I hope you just enjoyed this video and that's cool too. Alright, thanks a lot and have a good day. Be good.